Hey everyone, welcome back to Sugar and Spice Hairstyles. I'm Stacy. I'm Carrie. And today we're going to show you how to do a reverse fishtail. It's a really fun and cute braid. And it's basically like the original fishtail, but it looks a little different in the end. You'll see. Let's get started. So her hair is still a little damp from a shower, but I like the way the fishtail holds if it's pretty damp. So I'm just going to spritz it a little more with some water. The dampness really helps tame the frizzies and the flyaways and helps hold them hold them into the braid really well. So once we have that all brushed through nice and smooth. Now you can do this in a ponytail. You could put the hair in a high ponytail like in um, like I did the original fishtail video, I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it. In the description box, I'll put a link to that video. But I'm just going to leave her hair down. Pull it back. I like to gather, I like to get it behind her ears, but if you want it more softer, more soft, you can leave, leave some hanging over the ears. And then you're just going to divide it in half. So you just have two sections. Okay, so with the original fishtail, you take a piece from the outside edge, just a small piece. The smaller the piece, the better it will look. But you can take bigger pieces if you're pressed for time because it's a little bit time consuming. So you cross it over, over top of the section and add it into the other. And then again on the other side, you take a small section and add it into the other section. So that's the original fishtail. Now for the reverse fishtail, you're going to do the same thing, only a little different. Take a small piece from the outside edge and you're going to cross it under under that section. And then again, a small piece from the outside edge and cross it under and add it in to the other side. Now you won't be able to tell much about it at first until we get braided down a few stitches. So cross it under Add it into the other side, small section, cross it under and add it into the other side. See the braid is forming underneath, but you'll see it start to pop through on the top in just a minute. You're just going to repeat these steps all the way down. So. Now you can see how the braid is looking. We're getting close to the where we're going to stop here. She likes to leave a little length at the end of hers. You can braid it all the way down until you run out of hair. Or you can just braid it down as far as you like. But see we're already getting down to where the strands of hair are getting harder to cross over and keep separate. Another stitch or two here. And we're going to go ahead and take a small elastic and secure the ends. 
and then comb through the ends that are left out so they're smooth. And here you can see the difference between the reverse fishtail and the original fishtail is in the reverse fishtail it looks like the hair is folding out. It's coming through the middle and folding out and around. The original fishtail, the hair, it looks like the hair is coming from the outside and folding inward into the middle of the braid. So that is the difference between the original and the reverse. Now if you like a more softer look, you can just take and tug on these edges. Loosen the loops up. This is called pancaking, by the way. And you can just tug anywhere you want to loosen it up. So we've done one side, now we'll do the other side. This makes the braid look softer and more full. So to cover up the the opening, the beginning of the braid here. You could bobby pin it together or you could put a cute little bow and that would cover that up. You, Like I said in the beginning, you could also do a high ponytail and do this. That would be more for sports um, to hold it in tighter and more steady so that the front parts don't fall out and get in the face. But this is a great hairstyle for school, except it is a little time consuming. So if you're running late, you probably don't want to go with this one. But it's really cute and it always gets a lot of compliments. Give them a spin. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And be sure to click some subscribe down below. Show some, some love. love. Click subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let us know if you like this hairstyle, if there's any hairstyles that you'd like to see us do. Uh, also leave that in the comments. We'd be happy to do them for you. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. At Sugar and Spice Hairstyles. Bye. Bye.